1 divided by 500 okay 500 1 1 goes into 500 goes into 1 how many times actually less than uh, 500 so 0 times 0 times 500 that gives you 0 if you subtract then you are getting 1 now to continue this process take here a decimal then you can take any number of 0 bring down the first 0 but look before this 0 there is a decimal decimal must come directly to the quotient 500 goes into 10 how many times actually 0 times because 10 is less than 500 0 times 500 0 if you subtract then you are getting 10 also okay now take this 10 to here bring down this 0 now 500 goes into 100 how many times 0 times because 100 is 100 is less than 500 0 times uh, 5 that gives you 0 if you subtract then you will get 100 bring down this 0 500 goes into 1000 how many times so we need multiplication table 500 times 0 0 500 times 1 just add 500 with this 0 that is you are getting 500 then 500 times 2 just add 500 with this 500 you are getting 1000 so 500 goes into 1000 two times two times 500 1000 if you subtract you will get zero that is our result is 0 0.002 i am going to show you another method so that you can do it easily right okay this is our problem right one divided by 500 forget about this two zero just think about this one over five now divide one by five five goes into one zero times zero times five zero if you subtract one take here a decimal and bring down this zero okay so since we are bringing down this zero so this decimal must come here 5 goes into 10 how many times 2 times 2 times 5 10 look we are getting 0 0.2 but look there is a 2 zero here so decimal point will will move from right to left two digit one digit then two digit so our final result is being 0 0.002 which is this